What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing, we are talking about the Edmonton Oilers, and we are, and I'm going to tell you, like, what they need to do in order to get better for the future. How should they re- they, I feel like the Edmonton Oilers need, so if you guys like these kind of videos, remember, leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell, add me on Snapchat, no back up three, follow me on Twitter. If you guys I'd be on Snapchat. I we hit me up and we can talk about like hockey or bait and baseball and you know whatever. And um, so let's get into this. So the Edmonton Oilers, if you guys don't know, they are a team up in Canada and they have some really good players like Connor McDavid and. Hold on, let me look at the on. So, like, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, um, Ryan Nugent, RNH, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, uh, Miko Koskinen, uh, who's a, one of their goalies. They have, they added, they just added a Vayner King. They have Killer Yamamoto. They have Cody Ceci, former Penguin, uh, Zach Cassian, Darnell Nurse, Tyson Berry, who I absolutely love, uh, don't know, no sense what to say. And they have Devin Shore, Oliver um, Rodriguez, who's another one of the goaltenders, Josh Archibald, um, uh, Ty, Ty Benson, um, Z, I don't know his name, Jesse Pula Jarvi, uh, Kyle Turris, uh, Cody Ceci, Evan um, Miko Kostin, Mike Smith, um, and others, and they have there. They have, like I said, they do have a good team. The Brandon Perlini, but and they like William Fogel. They just again, I don't know how they added him, but they they are like I said, they are a good team. They do. They just like I, and I did say this. They also added a Vanner King to their team, but and Duncan Keith. I've got to mention they also have Duncan Keith, but. They do need to add some more, like, I feel they, so, the Oilers, so the Oilers schedule, let me look at the Oilers, Oilers schedule, they have a bit of a rough schedule because, to, um, they have a bit of a rough schedule to end the year. They have the... They have to cont after now that the All Star break is over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my laptop here, guys. I'm sorry if I'm looking at over on my um looking over at my other stuff to watch. They have they play they host Vegas on Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Then they host. The Hawks on Wednesday at nine o'clock, and they host. Uh, their only rough game is gonna be on Tuesday against Vegas, and then Chicago, then the Isles, and then San Jose, and then L.A. Which the Vegas, Chicago, San uh, San Jose and L.A. are gonna be the back to back. Then they host Anaheim, Winnipeg, then they're at Winnipeg. Or at San Jose and L.A., then they're at Winnipeg, and then they host in two Sundays from now. They host the uh, Minnesota Wild. They have they then they're in Tampa, then they're in the Florida, then they're in Carolina. So they have a three game home stand, three game road trip to end the month. And then they have their four. They have which their road trip continues, and they have the um. Then they host the. Uh, they t they head to Philadelphia, then they go to Chicago, then they host the uh Canadians, then they host the Capitals, but they and then they head to Calgary. They host Tampa. They host Washington, Tampa, Detroit, Buffalo, New Jersey, and then they're in Colorado and De Dallas. Then they're in, and then they host San Jose. Arizona, LA, and then they ho and then they're in Calgary again, and then they go 
to then they held St. Louis, Colorado, Vegas, Colorado, or Dallas, Colorado, San Jose, Vancouver to end the year with road games of Anaheim, San Jose, L.A., Minnesota, Nashville, Columbus, Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh. So yeah, they have a quite the uh weird if quite the uh um schedule remaining. They have an interesting schedule remaining. So now if you look at their team, they are currently what is their record currently? Oh god. They are currently they're second in the north. Right, no, they're not. They are. They're not second in the north. They are. They're. One, two, three, four. Fifth in the Pacific Division. And they. They actually had a bit of a run there for a while. And they had, I don't know what this is doing, but, um, oh, there you go. So, perfect, this is what I needed. So, to end for the Oilers, they had a... So at the like like I was saying, you do have a lot of hockey left, but because but they host Vegas on Tuesday, so that's gonna be an interesting game. It starts at like ten o'clock at night, and their game start, and they did host Pittsburgh already, so they do play Pittsburgh again, and they uh, home here. They're twenty three sixteen and three, and at the end of the month. Of full schedule, thank you. They only have at the end currently. They were uh at the end of. I don't know. Let me look up there. I'm gonna follow them here because here's why. Why there's stats. Uh, so, at the end, right now, they've just been, we got the NHL app real here, on here real quick, NHL, NHL app, nope, not apparel, I don't want the NHL shop, it's not what I asked for, you stupid idiots, uh, thank you, uh, nope, right here, um, so, on their iPad, uh, iPad, Apple, on there, hold on, let me do it on my, see if I have it on my, on here, if I don't, whatever. At the end of their one, at the end of a couple months, I believe they had a, I don't have the angel. The angel app right here. Okay, um, so... Need the NHL app. That's just my phone telling me I'm at 10%. Um, where is my settings? Nope, not settings. My Google. Store. Uh, hold on, guys. I'm going to download this and then do this. MLB app. Oh, there's my Play Store. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I had to look for my Play Store. And look for this NHL app. NHL. That says... HHL and there it is. NHL install the app. I don't have the app. That's why I'm downloading it. So they had like they have been like if you guys don't know, remember there was an interview with Leon Dreisaitl. And if you guys can look up Leon Dreisaitl interview, that'd be fun. Um, it's kind of a funny video to watch because the I don't even know what the interview is. The interviewer is trying to ask him. But, yeah, they went on a 10, they were, like, 11, 
They lost like 11 of 12. Or I forget what was some, something ridiculous. But I'm going to go to the ESPN. I'm going to my ESPN app. Now I'm going to go to my Oilers. So this is going to be a... Uh, uh, but yeah, so anyway, getting back to everything about the Oilers, there's actually not a lot of talk, and they just need, like, help. What I suggest them to do is I suggest them to keep, like, McDavid, Dreisaitl, Darno Nurse, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and all, like, the fa all the pe all the players that, like, the fans know, but, like, the main core of the team, like Cassian and others. But, like, others need to go. So, they need to make some trades to the deadline, and I'm expecting them to get, like, some really good, young, like, start rebuilding more as they, like, start making some trades, Edmonton. Whoever the heck the Oilers GM is, they need to make some trades. Yes. Uh, so, they need to make some trades. That's all I'm saying. And this is a bit of a rant, but, like, it's a video. I don't know. I don't know what to call this. <sighs> um, so, it'll it'll probably have some weird title. But, anyway. So, yeah. Getting back to the thing with these orders. They, they need to, like, trade, like, a... They need to trade, like, their goal. They need better... They need, maybe they need better goaltending. Maybe they need, like, more... They don't have... Yeah, they're, like... Like, they, yes, they beat the Penguins. And, yes, they beat, like... They beat the Penguins in Edmonton. They're good at home, which... Okay, but they're, like, starting to fall apart. I don't know what's happening, but they're, like, falling apart. And at the end of October... And even, like, McDavid, he's still good. Like, and they haven't been in the playoffs in... Forever. So, let me see something here. At the end of October, the Oilers were... Not now. At the end of October, the Oilers were... 10, 14, 7, I want to say. At the end of October... Hello? Hello? At the end of October, they were 6-1, and one, the Oilers. And then at the end of November, they, they were 6-1-0. and one and oh. At the end of November, they were... Um, hello? They were 15-5. and five. So they were started, like I was saying, they started out the year really, really good, like... Six and one, fifteen and five, and then right before the long, uh, holiday break, <sighs> there's hair on my tablet. I don't know how that got there. Whatever, they were, um, eighteen, twelve and one, and then in January, at the end of January, they were before again, before all those games that were postponed. They're all the games was on this week. That's weird. They had... They were... At the end of January, they were 22, 16, and 3. And now they're 23, 16, and... What are they? 23, 16, and 3. 23, 16, and 3. Yeah. So they're 23, 16, and 3. And... <clears throat> I have a feeling they're just going to get better and better, but they have, like, a really rough schedule. So, um, I hope you guys like. Eh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell, add me on Snapchat at Waco73. If you're new, leave a like, subscribe. A lot of you guys that are watching my videos have not subscribed, so you guys need to subscribe. Uh, add me on Snapchat at Waco873. Follow me on Twitter, and I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Peace!